in this episode we want to talk about carbon now carbon is a very very important um, solid and it's often it's often known to us today as as um, carbon containing compounds in organic chemistry but today we are just going to talk about the non-organic part of carbon and then we are going to talk about the crystalline and amorphous forms of carbon carbon has two main crystalline forms that is graphite and diamond and then the amorphous Amorphous form of carbon involves charcoal and many other forms. The difference between diamond, diamond is a colorless and a crystalline substance, whereas graphite is a black, opaque, and then it is kind of a flaky substance. Graphite has a density of 2.3 gram per centimeter cube, while diamond has a density of 3.5 gram per centimeter cube. Graphite is black and opaque, while diamond is a crystalline and colorless. Then we have um, graphite is very soft and marked paper. Why? Graphite, yeah, white diamond is the hardest substance known. Then we have graphite is a very good conductor of electricity and it's even used applied in, ele in, in e electrolysis when it is used as the um, as the um, tips of those electrodes so that to afford to avoid corrosion because graphite is very difficult to um, to corrode unlike metals. So, but on the other hand, diamond does not conduct electricity. Then we also have um, Graphite can be attacked by potassium tetrachloride, whereas diamond is attacked by nothing. There's no, there's nothing that can attack um, um, um diamond. So that is the hardest substance known. Then so next, we have to talk about the properties of carbon. Now, carbon has different properties, and one of the major properties of carbon is its reducing ability. What this means is that carbon, in essence, it basically reduces other substances. For example, carbon is make, mainly used in the in the reduction of oxides of metals in, in their extractions. Just like iron oxide, you make use of carbon in, you make use of carbon monoxide to reduce iron oxide. Those are main, main, many applications of carbon. And then there are two two main gases that are formed whenever you pass steam and and air over carbon or rather white hot coke. When coke um, coke is also a form of carbon. Now when you pass water over the um, coke you produce what is known as produce and um, water gas and water gas is a gas that contains if equal mixture of um, of hydrogen and carbon monoxide then when you pass um, air hot air over red hot coke you produce what is known as producer gas and producer gas consists of unreacted nitrogen and some mixture of carbon monoxide so and then producer gas contains of one third it contains one third of um, by mass, by volume of um, carbon monoxide, and then two thirds by volume of unreactive nitrogen remaining in the air. So those are two major gases you can form when you react um, steam and air with white hot and red hot coke. Now next, let's talk about carbon dioxide, which is an oxide of carbon. Now carbon dioxide is produced in a similar setup like this, but basically you have um, what is known as dilute hydrochloric acid, here, and then you have instead of zinc you have um, marble. So when you have this marble is also known as carbon um, calcium trust carbon is CO3. So in the equation of the reaction, basically you have um, CO, CO3, CA, CO3 reacting with HCl to produce H2O, CO2, and CaCl. So basically, one property of um, Trafic carbon is that they react with acid to produce carbon dioxide. So and when this gas is produced, it is passed through the water and then it is liberated and it is liberated it like over water. So it's passed over water. And then there are different properties of carbon dioxide. For example, carbon dioxide, one major property of carbon dioxide is that whenever it's passed through um, a, a solution of calcium hydroxide or or um, um let's call it lime, lime water, it makes the lime water milky. That is known as leaking of it, it makes the lime water milky and then carbon dioxide also um, it extinguishes a lighter splint and so on and so forth. Carbon dioxide is used for in major in major purposes and it will breathe out carbon dioxide for example. So and then we also have carbon monoxide is formed too. Carbon, carbon monoxide which forms 50% of the um, water gas and so on and so forth. So after carbon monoxide there are other, there are other compounds formed when carbon reacts with other elements like trichocarbonate and bicarbonate or hydrogen trichocarbonate. For example, sodium bicarbonate is used in baking to release carbon dioxide, so on and so forth. So thank you for watching.